One question I receive a lot is how do I create a my profile page similar to the one that I have on my own website where users can come here and click on my profile and update their email, their password, their first name, and any other info that you have on them in your profile. And to do this is actually really, really easy. Let's jump over to our demo site here. All we have to do is open up our element tray and do a quick search for profile. And you'll see that Thrive actually has a user profile element that you can just simply drop onto your page anywhere and choose a basic template. And now you automatically have a profile section on any page of your website that you want that will work with wishlist member, uh, just basic default Thrive Apprentice registrations, whether it be from WooCommerce or from Thrivecart, or whether they, you manually set up their accounts or they got their account set up from a ConvertBox webhook, however it may be. If they are logged into their account and they are on this page on your website, they will be able to see and update any of these particular fields. Now what's neat about this is with the user profile element selected, you have a couple of options. You can inherit your smart page colors or you can edit the colors of the form here in this little color picker tool. And you can see that on this particular design, it really only applies to the update button, but we have total control over what this looks like. You can choose where the labels are positioned off to the left. And that's actually a neat little layout because if we go like this, that looks pretty good actually with the name or with the label off to the left in the field right here. And then you can edit the fields. Let's say I don't want them to update their nickname. I don't need them to have biographical information. I don't need them to add uh, maybe their website or display name publicly as. Maybe I just want uh, this to be the fields here. Now, maybe I don't want it to say contact info to the left of the email. And maybe I don't want the background to be this gray color and I wanna change some of those options. All I have to do is click edit design here on the left and now I can come in and I can update any of this. I could highlight contact info and change it to email. I could change the background color section here under background style. And instead of this gray, I could make it completely white. And then I could come into each of these fields and instead of them having a white background, I could have them be slightly gray so that it's a little easier to see the fields themselves. And then I can edit that until I'm perfectly happy with it, then click done. And now you can see I have a profile form that I can put anywhere on my website that looks great, fully customizable and gets the job done perfectly. And then when somebody clicks on update, if I come back here to main options, you can choose what message is seen. If I click the little preview eye, it'll come down here. And I think that's just really simple, streamlined and straightforward, and a great way to help uh, your website users update their own information, particularly their password or their email on file without having to reach out to you or without having to uh, just dive deep into some clunky system. So hopefully that helps get you on the right path. If you have any questions about using Thrive Architect or Thrive Apprentice or anything related to the Thrive Suite, you can hop over to convology.com for more tutorials just like this, as well as courses and other information.